Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Doctor Wu Twin Pack, Space Disc and Turbo. So with this video we're going to unbox them in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're going to have a look at them in both of their modes, see how you want to display them. And of course we're going to do some comparisons with them and pretty much other versions including their Generation 1 versions of themselves. So quite a bit to get through with this video so as I start to pack these away I'd like to remind anybody who's not subscribed to this channel if i'd hit that subscribe button for me now please and secondly to thank show z because that's where i purchased these from and as you can see they got them to me nice and safely now also for those of you who are unaware and i'm sure you can pretty much tell the characters already this is a third party company called dr Wu, and they make very small versions of your favorite generation one characters to be honest borderline micromaster size in all honesty um, and there they are in the packet lovely you know these are very clever they come with collector's cards as well which is pretty much like what the takara figures used to do so there is turbos i'm sure the other one's going to fall out of the instructions um in a second i'm just going to very quickly show you them the instructions for these are quite simple i'm going to show you the transfer yeah there it is there's space discs this so again this is just a homage or a copy of takara with the collector's cards and indeed the tech specs on the back now even though they are quite small you can see according to this that it's still gonna take nine steps to transform it so let's have a look so yeah if you're unfamiliar with these i suppose that's the best way i can describe them um they're just smaller versions of your favorite characters um, and as i've said in the other videos and i'm probably going to keep saying it um they're just like this generation's version of uh, WSTs, which were world's smallest transformers, which were officially released uh, by Takara. And indeed, I've just found one here. So this is an official Takara WST. That is Optimus Prime. And as you can see, he is tiny. But anyway, let's have a look at these. So this is Space Disc. That is Cosmos. That is tiny. Absolutely tiny. So small, in fact, that look, there is Generation 1 Cosmos to give you an idea of just how small he is. I've just realised it looks better if I move that out of the way. So yes, if I bring this one to you, we've got lovely detail there on the front. Yeah, there's a couple of gaps, but that's because he's going to have some articulation. It doesn't look too bad. You can pretty much guess where everything's going to go in a second. But as I said, I think he looks really, really good. Um, and these are quite cheap, to be honest. The transformation process is as follows. You just pull the head out there. We're going to separate the sides. These are going to be the legs. Let's bring these down. Take the back part, rotate it around like so. Oh, it's getting caught. Fold that in to cover that. And then bring these down. I'll swing the arms all the way up. You've then got a ball and socket joint at the bicep. And that is your little cosmos and or space disc as he's known and once again i'm going to show you how tiny he is there's g1 cosmos there is new ages cosmos which is also a very small version of him and for those of you who only collect mainline and you're new to collecting there's the velocitron one so you can see just how much bigger he is which is, as I say, it's crazy just how much bigger he is. Here, funnily enough, is some of the MicroMaster figures from the Siege toy line. And he's hot, well, just, as I say, over half the size of them. He really is very, very small. And then once again, as I said, this is an official Takara WST, world's smallest transformer. And he's a load smaller than them. Same as this one as well. That is a WST Starscream. Um, and again, these were originally released in 2003, so I think these are pretty much just updated versions of them, to be honest, unfortunately, but obviously not by Takara. Right, there's Space Disc, let's move him out of the way. Let's have a look at Ramjet. Wow, tiny, very, very detailed, looks really good, to be honest. Got the accessories, you can take these off um, and you can reattach them. Uh, I mean, this guy again is really small for those of you who collect studio series there's a studio series jolt he's about he's not even hot well 
yeah, about half the size, but obviously there's much, much less um, of him with regards to transfer. Let's have a quick look at it first. You can move these tail feet. Yes, you can. You can move them around. The arms should have tapped into there, to be honest. Um, you can probably make out what the things are going to be underneath. Uh, but there's still detail there, you know, on the cockpit. Um, all along it, again, really, really liking these figures. Let's have a go. I'm going to take these off, to be fair. Let's have a go at transforming them then. Um, let's open up that, open up this back part, tuck the nose cone there. They take brilliant homages from the original G1 figure, which is exactly what that is. And then they also take um, ideas from the newer core class figures, because obviously the chest splitting open and it's spinning around as far as I'm aware uh, and can remember, funnily enough, is the same as the core class figures do um, at the moment. I've just lost that tab there. Let me pop that there like so. Do it, do it. And then bring these through like so. And that can then tuck down the back. There he is. And we can then reattach these to the side. And as you can see, they look, there he is absolutely brilliant look there's detail on the head you can see his eyes you can see the fans at the front there's full articulation in the shoulders ball and sockets in the biceps in the hips there's even a knee bend and there's even an ankle uh, tilt as well and to give you an idea of how small this is compared to the original one <laughs> he doesn't even fit on he's absolutely tiny and again if you collect other a legend scale figures that's new age let me move the g1 out of the way that's new age that's iron factory this is magic square um, then we've got a couple of normal core class figures just for you there absolutely tiny these guys are as you can see really really small let's bring in um, some other versions again of their particular mold so we're going to sign off here because there's the originals i'm just going to move that out the camera way there's a shattered glass version of him and then indeed we've got the generation 2 version of him but there you go a great little set of figures let me know what you think in the comments guys take care